Gitar kau sahaja ni je ni. Lintar kau pulu kau ni, kau linti ni. Kau kamera kerja ke lampi ter. Lantar kau kau malu nak kau nak bisho pak kerja kau mampu kele. Kau limpi ter malu lampu ter rata mai. Orang lalu kau kau rapel lampu ting. Rakyat orang rata mai kau kau rapel lampu ting. Rfika kau. Kama kala kwa maskarala kama hara hiki kuhuru fela kama kala muri la moto inkande unki saku miti kama hara miti huna li no haga mo bankera miriri ba bera kaka miriri aka urekle kita ma kugula familia aka banki sama la watu banu sama adi umiti kama la huna li no ha na la watu ba baba bula ilo ba baba pir ule tere na Injui injui ni semua kalau kau na na masih tani sih na harus senja kau bola ye kita ni kita ni kau 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 bawa na lagi cinci itu kau kau saya gugur kau kena na lagi saya bawa ni file na raba bawa na udah meh lah file sebab semua am file na kau kau bola familia aga kau kau bola ya bangkit sana Nigeria kau bishop aku kau cari kau bishop aku masih tani sih ni kau kau hubi kau lihat kau lihat aga na ufu fiu na Bawa fufi sah, ni bawa kerja sama bawa isak kopi lagi ni, aku, aku mana, aku dah tak pernah nampak orang orang kerja bersih. Ah, itu itu ni itu file, nampak betul ya aku ni kerja kawan orang kerja kerja, kerja kalau iha aku ni, barangkali nama mereka drive. Ah, kerja ni sih, nanti nanti kamu raja rata. Enak tu tu mana dia fapan, karban mana dia fapan macam tu, ni bang kerja kerja fapan. Ah, bang dah terima muncar, kerja bersih. Mak muda ada bapak nama nyaga kamera meiji, banyak kamera meiji. Kaya hal nui bulan nafsi meiji. Ni soal dekat macam apa yang awak? Kita kira ni tuh saja. Nomor di. Yesterday I received a call from the station manager of a local community radio station, and you know indicating that there was a family that had a problem with a child that was initiated in Satanism. Um, and the child was terrorizing the family because the child was now receiving instructions to kill you know, several members of the family um, as part of the ritual into this Satanic you know, sect. Um, I then hurried to the family. Um, there were several experiences that were too strange that the family experienced, including the fact that sometimes even when they had locked their house, uh, the finisher would be turned, you know, upside down. Uh, the grocery will be spilled, messed up. Um, th there were some writings with satanic codes within the house, with red, you know, marking pens. And um, I just wanted to find out where is this child so we can be able to engage in a prayer of deliverance for the child. When we finally met with this guy, we started talking. He related the whole story, how he was initiated into this satanism, how he, um, that, you know, at night he has beautiful cars like a hammer that is owning, that is driving. He's, a, he's one of the most influential um, personality within the satanic, you know, act, you know, cult. And he mentioned so many things that were so shocking. At this particular time, um, shut the word of God to the boy and said, look, do you really want to kill your family? He said, no, I don't want to kill my family. Actually, I would have been already advanced uh, to other levels. But the challenge is I'm refusing to kill my family. I don't want to kill my family. So we shut the word of God to him, indicated to him, John chapter 10 verse 10 says, the thief cometh to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus came for us to have life and to have it in full. So I began to relate to him this truth from the word of God. He equipped me the truth, and I showed him from the word of God that if he would give his life to Jesus, he would be delivered. He accepted Jesus. We let him in a confession prayer. During the confession uh, prayer of accepting Jesus as his Lord and Savior, when he said, I am coming out of Satanism, Demons started to manifest, you know, started to manifest out of him. And those spirits started to scream. And they started telling me that, look, I want my son, I want my son. And we, you know, dealt with those demons and cast them out. Benjamin, I paralyze with all forces and powers. 
After we had cast those demons out, and then I said, but you man, you talk about a knife. Where is the knife? Bring it. He went into the bedroom, brought the knife. Very sharp knife with some red linen, and then we wrapped, rope, you know, wrapped on the handle of the knife, and we took it and um, bent you know, the rope, and he said, that rope, you know, in it is a mixture of different types of motifs, including fats made from a snake. Um, it has some powers, so that's why he was given that use it to kill your family members. Um, we prayed for the boy again, those devils manifested. We disconnected him from the marine world because these people are able to go under the water. We have to disconnect him from powers under the water. He mentioned some, you know, some two dams where they normally would go, you know, to spend time, you know, to worship, you know, you know Satan and to, to, to drink blood, human flesh and many other things. Um, that is part of their practice. And, you know, we prayed over, over him again, and the boy was finally free. So this power of God is by far absolutely higher than any other power. So with the power of God, there is deliverance from Satanism, deliverance from any other power of oppression by the enemy.